ought to come to the trust in the Lord hour, and which, which promotes the word of God, not the trust in the Lord hour because we do it. But you ought to come here uh, because uh, to solve every issue that you have that has been presented to you through the auspices of Satan and evil workings. You ought to come to the trust in the Lord hour uh, to solve every problem known to you and to man. And then once you are healed and saved and your problems are solved, you ought to turn around and strengthen the brethren. By that I mean, once you get your act together, get your stuff together, see everything that has come into your life that is evil, that is destructive, that creates problems for you, whether it's financial, whether it's health, or whether it's, uh, whether it's professional, or whether it's family, or whether it's depression, or suicidal false intents, or whether it's addictions, you ought to come to the trust in the Lord hour. The Word of God is sufficient to deal with everything that you've got going on in your life. The Word of God. And that's what we are doing here to trust the Lord. And what we're telling you is to hear and trust. Hear God's word and trust him. Listen to me, please. Please listen to me. I'm saying to you, if you put your trust in God, and we've defined that as you've given yourself wholly and completely over to the Lord, you have surrendered yourself to him. You didn't come to him to get a healing. You came to him to be a blessing to him, to his purpose and his cause. This is not a faith movement. This is a trust in God movement. This is a Job moment. This is a Job movement. When you put your trust in the Lord, you said, Lord, whatever you want me to do, I'll do. Whatever you want me to say, I'll say. Wherever you want me to go, I'll go. And in the meantime, or in the, as a result of that, Almighty God will take care of everything that you have need of. You'll never have to beg anybody or kiss up to anybody to get what you need. You'll never beg bread and you'll never be defeated. You'll never beg bread and you'll never be defeated. Give yourself to the Lord. And is that so? I mean, even the military and other organizations know if you work for them, they'll take care of you. They'll have a health plan for you. They'll have a food plan, housing plan. You know, they'll take care of you. Well, how much more so if you say, Lord, I'll, I'm, 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 I'm not coming to you to get anything. I'm coming to you to serve you. I'll go and preach and teach us to give or teach or I'll evangelize or I'll pray or I'll work, I'll volunteer. I, I want to serve you wherever you want me to serve. And he'll take care of you. Now, I want to read some verses here that I think are very important today out of the book of Isaiah, chapter 55. Please listen to these verses. Verse 6, Isaiah 55. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our God for he will, for he will abundantly pardon. Continue to reading verse eight. God is saying through the prophet Isaiah, for my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and, your, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth and bud that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. Hallelujah. And praise almighty God goes right there. But it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing wherein to I sent it. For ye shall go out with joy and be led with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before, un, before you into singing. 
and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the fir tree, and instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle tree, and it shall be to the Lord for a name, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. So glory to God and hallelujah and praise almighty God goes right there.